Hi, 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 and welcome to Stream and Scream. You guys have been talking a lot about Life is Strange, and it doesn't normally fall under what I play on my channel. Life is Strange is a story based is a story-based game that will feature player choices, the consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Great. <laughs> Like lightning. Part of the ecosystem. I'm trapped in the storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Alright. Okay, so I thought this was gonna be more like Choose your own adventure click theory. I didn't realize I actually was gonna get to control somebody. Ooh. I guess I probably shouldn't be fucking around. I should just go because this is a major whoa storm. I should probably not chill near a cliff edge during this. Holy shit. Yeah, you can say that again. Uh, Dorothy, I don't think we're gonna be in Kansas for very long. And I'm suddenly thinking... That lighthouse not that safe. Yep. Whoa. That was so surreal. John famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. Bueller. There you go, Victoria. Bueller. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally Damn. haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I'm holding it, she but it's not- She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I don't understand. Is Keep my... Keep yourself. Mouse Seriously, though. Locked or something? I could frame any one of you in How a dark corner. How the fuck do I look at it? And capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. It says move the mouse, but I'm not- I'm- It's like not letting me get Isn't that close too easy? to it. Hold too the left obvious? message, draw- Drag towards what the look. What if I was chose oh. to capture people with the- Got Look at it. this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Hmm. Height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I can't believe I still have this pencil I case. Admit, I should upgrade to the 21st century. I but I take a selfie? I don't think that's a good thing to do me in the middle too, of Victoria. class. <laughs> He captured the I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the air. But a I beauty supposed to pay attention to this? <laughs> you don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. News. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, I should shame. take a picture to prove yeah, I'm still here. Urban Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. Program. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Now, contrast Frank's I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Cocteau, he was a true renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. <coughs> of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. 
Your generation Thanks for bringing it to, it to the attention of the entire class. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and so photography for as Earth long as it's been grown. <laughs> now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you Pass. please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um, You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody Jesus. here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> okay. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Aww. October 1st, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot thanks to global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. Haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my Greek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. And yeah, she totally does not know the rules of surviving a horror movie. She makes bad judgments. I have a feeling <laughs> that we're going to have a problem. I should find a real Halloween party to, cr um, to crash so I can experience some social mingling. Is that or a vortex club stroke fest swimming party or is that backstroke fest you so punny max at least i'm trying to climb out of my cocoon i shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of blackwell academy as my parents left telling me on a loop you have all the time in the world you don't have all the time in the world all right let's roll way the fuck back okay i got accepted to blackwell this is back in july it looks like what are these? Oh. Okay. Got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave! Even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy! <laughs> a unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried, my dad laughed. They're so weird. But they're happy that this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work in a new laptop. Oh, and I'm going to have to keep telling myself in caps, I'M GOING TO BLACKWELL ACADEMY! <laughs> Alright, August 18th. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the photography programs in all the world, I chose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still friends. But I do wish Chloe would have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our room and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. <sighs> Insert hearts and flowers. Plus there will be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here. But it's time to skip out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island and treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Alright, so August 25th. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. 
Nobody will know me except for Chloe, who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat, get some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange student from Paris or Rome. I can do anything. Unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. September 2nd, my first entry from my new dorm room at the night before my first day at Blackwell. <sighs> I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. The shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. Can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. The next day. Blackwell sucks ass! <laughs> I told myself not to widen so soon, but damn! The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life! Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Burke, Taylor, Alyssa... And how can I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled, I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. <sighs> so that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it'd be easier being back. Call the Wambulance. I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and the brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. <sighs> but there's more to tell. But journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good starty, a steady partner, or a good friend. I'll need at least one, based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this isn't exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, he just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him! Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. December 15th. Homework is kicking my ass! I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone, with way more money and attitude if that's even possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties so they get their way. It's good to be the king and the queen. 
I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to make some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes Photo Contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco in lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of times to stress and procrastinate. <sighs> September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren, but I can't clone him and take him, make him take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I like how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm not trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual class questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? Alright, so that's that. So what we got over here? That's Max. Oh, they each have their own little thing. My name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe in a it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of style and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love the most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without take, talking to her once in five years, and it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature, and I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with a retro camera at my side. Say cheese! Mark Jefferson. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher, and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all of the incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit descending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo of this Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner goes, gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everyone at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious group, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. She's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or to a movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch rated R films. 
Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18-year-olds at, at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contests. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Ma Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is, she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. <laughs> hmm. I guess these are pictures that I'm going to be taking, maybe? These are all locked. Oh, interesting. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Woo! Guess dad gave us money. Um, he max you around? Always. You okay? You want to get tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Happy birthday, Maxine! We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us! Let's go up to the top here on this. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we'd often have to measure its velocity. <laughs> I like Warren. <laughs> the first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. Oh, class is over. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. All right. Ooh. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Wow. Jesus Christ. GRLT. With all the speed and power expected from a new greenlit. Blah, 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 blah. Expanded features, manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have superb quality, depth of sharpness, and malleability. Damn. Oh, a printer. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Ah. Scrunch Dead, featuring the latest works of Mark Jefferson, Henry's gonna get electric mail. Ooh, what's this? Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. 
Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. That bun. <laughs> Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, oh. me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Okay, good talk, I guess. See if there's another Let's thing Let's talk later, Max. Okay, I guess not. What's this? Huh. This might make a cool shot. Achievement unlocked. Macro eyes. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. <laughs> oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? <laughs> so cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Here. Brown. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my Spend 15 minutes of infamy. an image that represents infamy. yourself or others in heroic action. Deadline's the 15th. Winner will fly to San Francisco, represent their school, everyday heroes, blah, blah, blah. You may submit one image on an approved for, for consideration. 18 and under, parent permission form. Oh man, that's a deadline. This is my and chance. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. So you can much never stuff to escape look at. the lighthouse here. An interesting phrasing for escape the lighthouse Whoa, here. Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. Yeah, that he is probably a paid big 20 grand fucking... for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, uh. you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm. Is that the... Okay, so he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Okie dokie. Guess we will skedaddle. Figure out, uh... You didn't tell me how cute I yet. I was about to. Like you you Welcome to the cute. real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture to class. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying her. She plays it so short. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Sounds like she's having problems. Thank you.